Oh, oh, gee golly. It is red abita pinata party time. Oh, hello and welcome back to another Wildlife Wednesday. We have another prairie update, and of course, with that lovely intro, uh, clearly uh, there is a massive bloom going on currently. As we look around, we come to here, and uh, well, this wonderful little flower here, also known as the gray headed comb flower, is uh, uh, scientifically known as Ratabita panata. A wonderful member of the Asteraceae, the sunflower family. And let me tell you, the sunflower family, we've talked about it a lot. However, uh, there are some weird members that are popping up right now too. And as I get closer to one, it is about as tall as I am. Get ready. It really looks like a gosh darn uh, forest out here now, don't it? Oh, what is that? Wow. It's quite tall. It's gigantic, you may even say. This one, it's about seven feet tall. This is what's known as, actually this one is called Pale Indian Plantain. This is a member of the genus of Indian Plantains. Uh, and this is called Arnoglossum atriplicifolium. Characterized by this wonderful purple stem. These very large uh, rubbery almost leaves. And then this wonderful, wonderful arrangement of white flowers up there. How nice is that? Now, you may remember I talked about the pale purple cone flower, right? Echinacea pallida? Guess what? Echinacea purpea is now in town. This being the purple cone flower. Not pale, just purple. Oh, yeah. We have this bad fella going off here. Oh my gosh, take a look at this. Verona castrum virginicum. This is what is known as Culver's root. Scrofulariaceae, the snapdragon family. A real stunner of the wet to music prairies here in Wisconsin. Oh, take a look at this. Take a look at this. Bright purple flowers. What could this be? Opposite leaves. Oh, you break one of those off. Smells real nice. Oh, maybe it's the mint family. You know what? It is the mint family. Lamiaceae. How nice is that? This one being bee balm, Monarda fistulosa. A very close relative of the plant that is uh, used to make uh, what is known as... Uh, Earl Grey tea. How nice is that? Oh, oh, Silphium lucinatum! Look at this stem. It's so hairy, and those hairs—they are not nice. They're real brittle, uh, real bristly. You know, they're real hard. You try and take a gnaw on that, or let's say you're, you know an herbivorous animal that comes in and tries to gnaw on it, uh, you're gonna get a mouthful of like sandpaper hairs. Not pleasant. Oh, compass plant, uh, how I love you. Oh, well how nice. We have some silphiums, we have some heliopsis, we have some uh, echinacea propea, how nice is that? Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's, it was almost like a crash course with all the flowers I threw at you today. Uh, all this ratabita too, just really going off. How incredible is that? But uh, you know, I really hope you enjoyed this little prairie update, this nice short uh, blitz of a prairie update. Until I see you next week, I hope uh, you get outside every day, uh, make use of your time outside, enjoy the summer weather that we are enjoying because it won't be here for too much longer, and uh, just stay psyched on the world around you. All right, uh, and with that, I'll see you next week on the next Wildlife Wednesday.